Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how to work out angles inside quadrilaterals. I'm going to take you through 15 examples. Some aimed at grade 4, some aimed at grade 5 and 6, and then some aimed at phase top grades. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step. In this video we're going to go through five easy examples, five medium examples and then move through to some harder examples. If you want to practice these, try some easy ones, see how you do and then you can skip ahead to the medium ones and then to challenge yourself, skip ahead to the hard ones. Hopefully you remember that the angles inside a triangle add up to 180. Now a quadrilateral is just made up of two triangles that are stuck together. So the angles inside a quadrilateral add up to 180 times two or 360. So for this one, we need to work out angle B and we are given all of the other angles. So we can do 360 minus 100 minus 120 minus 40 giving us an answer of 100. Same rules apply here. All of these angles add up to 360. I'm going to do it a slightly different way. 80, 50, 110. I'm going to add those together. So we have 0, 8 plus uh, 5 plus 1 gives us 14. 1 plus 1 it gives us 2, 240. We can then do 360 minus 240 will give us 120. It is highly likely you'll get this sort of question on a non calculated paper, so try doing these without your calculator. So 40, 40, 30, those are the angles that we know we have, 0. And then moving this one, 4 plus 4 plus 3 gives us 11, carry 1, gives us 111. So we can do 360 minus 111 gives us 250 degrees. So I'm going to do another one with subtraction. So 360 minus 110, 70, 50. And that is going to give us 130 degrees. Another one where I'm going to subtract here. So we have 360 minus 60 minus 190 minus 60. And that is going to give us 50 degrees as our leftover angle. Moving on to slightly more complicated ones now because we're introducing some symbols. Now remember these are highly likely to come up in a non-calculated paper. So as well as practicing the skills, finding the angles within a quadrilateral, please try this without a calculator to practice your addition and subtraction. Now when we have these symbols up here, it means these angles here are the same. So we know that this angle is 40 as well. So we can do 250 plus 40 plus 40. Down here, we're going to get 0. Down here, we're going to get 13. Carry 1. 2 and 1 is 3. We can then do 360, the total area, or total angles inside a quadrilateral. Minus 330 gives us... 30 degrees. Here we have that angle again, meaning this angle here is the same as this angle here. So this one is also C. Now we know that all of these four angles added together are going to equal 360. So we can do 360 minus 150 minus 110 and that is going to equal 100. And now we know that 2C equals 100 because we have two angles left over. We can divide the 100 by 2, so C is going to equal 50 degrees. 
similar question here here we have a and we know from this lineage here that this is going to be the same over here so this is a so we can do 360 minus 120 minus 40 equals 200 we can say that 2a equals 200 so we can say that a equals 100 again we can say this one is c so we can say 360 minus 80 minus 80 equals 200 we can say that 2c equals 200 and c equals 100 with this one we've got some more lines so this angle is the same as this angle so we know that that one there is 70 and that this angle is the same as this angle so we know that one there is also c 360 minus 70 minus 70 equals 220 2c equals 220 so c equals 110 degrees some slightly different numbers now this is going to be a little bit harder for you to do in your head but i would still really like you to try this as a non-calculator so uh 360 minus 73 minus 47 minus 45 is going to give us 195 same one again so slightly different numbers but please try it without your calculator 104 85 87 going down here 4 9 16 carry 1 16 17 carry 1 so 276 360 minus 276 equals 84 degrees again we can say that this angle over here is a because these signs these lines mean that they are the same so we can do 124 plus 100 gives us 224 360 minus 224 is going to leave us with 136 136 divided by 2 is going to give us 86. Right, in this video we've got some more lines. We know that that one over there is 82 and that one over there is D. So we can do 82 and 82, 4, 6, 1, so 164. 360 minus 164 equals... 196 and then we can do 196 divided by 2 and then we can say that over here 19 divided by 2 is going to give us 9 carry um, 10 over that is going to give us 98 here we can say this one is a 62 144 add those together we have 6 10 carry 1 2 so 360 minus 2a6 equals 154 154 divided by 2 uh, 15 divided by 2 is going to give us 7 take uh, the remainder over that is going to give us 14 divided by 2 is going to give us another 7, 77. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.